Well, hello everyone and welcome to Marcello's Guitar Corner. In today's video we're going to run a little test and specifically if the Line 6 Pod Go needs a buffer in front to sound better. Actually this test has already been carried out by Ben Craven of Tone Cloners so credits should be given to Ben for uh, bringing this up. Today I would like to carry out the same test uh, with three different connections. The first connection is directly from the guitar to the pod go by using a, a guitar cable. The second one will be using uh, the uh, cable from the, the guitar into the Boss Chromatic Tuner and then into the pod go. And the third one eventually will be using the Line 6 GT10 um, a wireless connection. Let's check it out. So for this uh, test uh, I'll be running a very simple uh, PodGo setting, just the one amp, no effects at all. And the amp is called the US Double Normal. So. now change the input so the guitar cable should go first into the boss uh, two or three uh, chromatic tuner and then into the pod go Well, immediately I can say that uh, there is a, a remarkable difference. Uh, you can hear the top end and the, everything is much, much uh, clearer. Let's now test the third option, which is going from the, um, not using the guitar cable, but using the Line 6 uh, wireless connection. There we go. And then out. Yeah. Line six G ten wireless connection. Well, what do you think? I think the buffer in front of it makes the line six pod go much better. It is actually a pity the the line six folks didn't notice this, and it's a pity that uh, you should be using an additional tool to get the best out of it. But here you are. Here you are. If you want to exploit uh, the, uh, the line 6 pod, pod go, uh, it's best that you should use a buffer in front of you. Either a, um, a wireless connection or uh, a, a buffer with it, uh, like a boss pedal or any other buffer. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, short video. Um, if you have any questions, suggestions, ideas, please let me know. Until then, goodbye.